just don't have the energy, folks. I used to have. Isn't that surprising? <laughs> when you've been sick so much and at this age, you just don't have it. That's all. Another thing you can use is this a quick Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. And you can mix it with your paint and um, add a little water to it. I put it in a little thing. I can stir it up a little bit so it's not so thick. And then what it does, it gives you it gives a different kind of color. Um, I'm going to put some up in here and you see it, it gets shiny. And uh, I'm using the Brit Sand and Alchemy Blue and uh, some purple. See all it does is um, makes it shiny. And you can mix it. I don't really want that color, so I'm going to bring in some blues. You see how we can work with acrylics. And uh, told you, this is going to be just a simple sky. I'm bringing some more clouds in here, like this. Make them go down. Kind of mix them. I'm using just plain white now, and uh, the, the uh, acrylic liquid is kind of blending in. You see, so you can use both water. Uh, I kind of like the acrylic mixture because it it gives it more of a sheen. You see, you can use a lot of white if you're making clouds. You just pick up your white and just put it on there. I like to make them a little thick. You know, you can always change it if you don't like it. This is just a, a going to be a, just a simple, simple landscape. Not going to... See. It blends your paintings. Now this has got lighter, but that's all right. Maybe I, when you're painting like this, folks, when you're on video, you don't paint like you usually do. You, you just can't because you're not thinking um, the same. I'm going to start going a lot thicker now. can go as thick as you want. I want some distance in here. Light blue and a little violet will give you distance. And yeah, I still use my brush up in here. painting this way, you can't see what you're doing, really. I'm bringing some more white. I saw some clouds like this the other day. But I can't be in my God does. <laughs> Nobody can. Okay, 
I am um, going to use my round brush again and um, I'm going to I use this toilet paper and hit the brush so it's not so wet and pick up my acrylic, liquid acrylic and, and my white and right in here I'm going to start bringing just a little bit of shapes because you know if you got everything going this way you gotta have some go some other way too. Now I'm gonna bring up um, my dark uh, my dark purple and burnt sienna and I wanna make it really dark over here. Maybe a little bit right in here. See, I told you it was just going to be a, a small landscape. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, I want some darker colors down here. And uh, this is purple and burnt sand. Uh, and maybe a little orange. I want a darker than that. I might bring in some light. This is a gouache, I'm getting all dirty, my gloves, but um, it comes in little tubes like this. I have a, uh, and I can't tell you what color because it's in Japanese, believe it or not. It's Japanese color, and I think it's a, I think it's a dark blue, and I'm going to just see what's going on with it. If I um, use my big brush again and see what. I took, I put it fresh out of the tube. See how dark it is? It's a, definitely a blue. And um, if I put it on to the tube like this, I just open up the tube like this and squeeze out some. Of course, you have to put the tube back on. out some blue and, and that's a sap green which I wasn't too I'm not familiar with these paintings but I'm not too familiar with that and I'm not too happy with it but I'm gonna bring in some white in here it's a, a different variety of color It's a heavier paint. You see how heavy it is? It's not transparent like the other. I'm not too fond of that green, but I can change it. Up a little bit of it up in here. 